I'm running out of things to say about this game, so instead, I will just say the top eight things I would like in Ring Fit Adventure 2, uh, just to get the round information out of the way so we can get to the real video. I was able to get mostly through World 42 out of 69 worlds. I'm so close yet so far. I wasn't going to play this game again for a while, but then, you know, we decided to go on vacation, so I needed to get this body all vacation ready for some swimsuit action. Let's start off with the top eight things I want in the Ring Fit Adventure series sequel. For self-improvement, crafts, and fitness games, go ahead and turn on YouTube. Okay, let's go. Lower your body to your the first and most obvious thing that needs to happen is giving us more exercises and fixing some of the problems that are there with the current ones. There are more than 40 exercises in the game. That's a lot, but there could be so much more. The yoga section for Wii Fit Plus has 21 exercises alone, with Wii Fit Plus I think having like 30, I believe. Uh, so many more of these can be added. I would like to see like downward dog, palm tree, and possibly like a shoulder stand added to the yoga moves, and you know, more exercises for the rest of the categories. I could like highlight like a whole list of possibly like 100 exercises I want to see. I would also like to see more variations of the activities there uh, made for people looking for more of a workout or challenge. For example, the seated ring raise could have a variation where you have to keep your feet off the ground uh, for like an extra 10 point attack bonus or like something like that. Having like a variation there for people who want more challenge is a great way and you can even add it as like a different workout option. Thus increasing the uh, expansion of the Also, fix the attack values in this game. The overhead arm spin should not be the most powerful attack as it doesn't work out really any of the muscles. All 5 star exercises should have the same value when you unlocked all of the exercises. Otherwise, you're just going to neglect them. Same with the three star, same with the one star. Lastly, remove the activities that give you the hearts and use them for attacks instead. You already have shakes for that purpose. Why waste exercises in the game that you could actually utilize for like attacks and within battle? Uh, if I want to heal my heart, I'm not going to be sitting there working on my bicep. I'm just going to drink a smoothie very quickly and start my next attack. Yeah. Second, fix the organization of the exercises. The menu in this is absolutely horrible. There are still options for the two and one star exercises when you have three star exercises unlocked. Just remove them from the menu. It would be a crazy to have this system still here after the sequel since you know more exercises will take up more time for you to have to scroll through and find what you want. Also, set up a better playlist system. Why not have the ability for you to create your own list uh, so you can quickly assign your exercises depending on the scenarios. Maybe include like some dynamic list options, such as, you know, here are your most used exercises, or here you are for your most least used exercises. That would be great, uh, especially the least used exercises, if you are trying to get like all the titles in the game. Otherwise, you have to look up the tracker and be like, okay, I haven't done, you know, seated ring raise for a while. It's just boring. Just do it automatically. I'm lazy. Select a skill and attack. Overhead arms. The third item on my wish list is to have a multiplayer mode. Having two people run along the track in like a horizontal split screen experience. Uh, when you get into a battle, you can choose between like you both doing the exercises at the same time or like swapping back and forth between each other, uh, kind of like more of like a traditional RPG would. 
I love working out with my girlfriend and I assume she enjoys doing it with me too. Having that option for couples to work out together is an incredible bonus to add to this game. Select a skill and... The fourth item on my wish list is to stop the game from holding my hand. I want an option for the ring to shut up and let me battle. I want Trip to go away since I don't need them anymore, uh, since I've been playing this for like 50 hours. Lastly, I want to stop with the tutorials for the mini games. I'm on my second playthrough of the game. I know how to play the mini games. Uh, every time I click, it's like, oh, to pop the crates, you gotta make sure. I'd like, this is my 10th time doing this. I know how to play. Nintendo, in general, is absolutely terrible about hand holding within their games, and it's incredibly annoying when I just want to work out. Just shut up and let me play the game. I don't need any tutorials. Also, stop telling me to adjust my level. I can do that in the menu in the game. Uh, quit asking me every single week. And I know there's the option you click it to uh, selecting it to, that is annoying. It will stop for a week, uh, but then it'll just continue on next week. It's like, what's the point of me clicking this button then? If you're just gonna keep bugging me, go away. Speaking of all that, the fifth thing I want in this game sequel is a quick start option. I just want to get in, work out, and get out. Instead, I have to hear the introduction from Tip and the ring. I have to ask if I want to stretch. Then it asks me if I want to adjust the dang level, even though I told it I was annoyed by it already. Then I have to wait for the world select screen to load, which you know isn't bad in this game, but it's still kind of annoying. Then I have to select a level, skip all the dialogue. Um, it can take like a few minutes uh, that can be used for working out. I usually play this game during my lunch break at work. I have like an hour lunch, I work from home, so I'm not like running in an office. Also, you know, that's half my lunch I'm spending on this game. And every minute counts. Having an option that skips all this and just plays the level you currently left off would be a godsend. Sixth, have the game calibrate to your body. This is for both. Six, have the game calibrate to your body. This is for both the exercises and squeezing, squeezing the ring con and running. Every person has a unique body whose actions do things differently. Uh, depending on your strength, you know, having the game calibrate and adjust slightly to how run fast you run or how hard the, you squeeze the ring con can give a more challenging workout for those who are stronger or maybe even give it a little lighter for those who are a little weaker. Having the exercises calibrate can fix so many of the issues with them. Uh, with like mountain climbers, for example, uh, which can't detect on people with our bigger stomachs since we can't really get all the way up there because our belly's in the way, uh, the game should calibrate and keep that in concern. The game should still steer you to doing the exercises correctly, but adding some little adjustments can be a godsend for the people that the game just isn't programmed to. Right, lower down, raise up, left. Ten more. Lower down. Raise up. Left. Right. Lower down. The seventh addition I would like to add to a potential Ring Fit Adventure 2 is to lean on the adventuring more. Right now, you have a level select screen system, which is good, but having an open world style game would be so much better. Having you run around like an on-rails path system between different villages um, would be amazing. You know, you could stop at any time to like go to a store or like, you know, suck up the items or like attack enemies. You can even possibly do it in like a first person mode where like the enemies have to touch you. If they do, then you get to battle them. Uh, kind of, if you guys ever played the game Killer7 for the GameCube, I'm kind of imagining like a system like that. The side missions can come from talking to the different villagers, and the mini games can come from like playing like games within the villages, uh, kind of like with uh, Orcarine of Time. 
as you upgrade your ring, you can explore more of the area, such as like flying to the tops of mountains or swimming off to a new sub island. Um, there's just so much more potential by leaning into the game's RPG styling and providing more of an open world to explore. Trust me, I know why they didn't do this. First, it'll be so much harder to develop um, and you have to teach the new players, but it could be a huge way to shake things up. Also, with over 10 million copies sold, most of the people who would play the sequel would have already played the first game. The casual audience has been trained and they're ready to tackle a more complex game. <laughs> Lastly, I want the story to be on a more epic, darker scale compared to this one. Think of how Majora's Mask was to the Ocarina of Time. Uh, and again, I'm sorry for keep bringing that series up. Bringing a new evil protagonist that corrupted Drago and turning him into a minion. Also, the four fighters, and like you can throw in some new characters. So they're all evil and corrupted by the greed of like fitness. Then you have to battle each one of them and free them and defeat the new boss. Each person you beat, you unlock new skills and you know you get more powerful. It would be incredible to have it so that you can just like face the main villain or face the main boss at any point like you could with the Breath of the Wild. You know, still have like the whole tutorial system in the beginning, but once you beat that, you're on your own. You can face a boss whenever you want. That's just, mm, that'd be so cool. I'm just excited about all the possibilities this could bring. You know, I know Nintendo has the creativity and the budget to turn this idea into just something incredible. Now turn your exercise into experience points with a victory pose. Charge your squat power, but don't overextend yourself. Release victory! As I have already stated previously on this channel, Ring Fit Adventure is my favorite fitness game I have played so far. That doesn't mean that the game doesn't have problems. Though, as things such as, you know, motion detection and like balance issues within the fighting of the game, you know, it still leaves the game open for a ton of criticism. However, a sequel can fix this and add so much more that it could be the definitive best fitness game of all time. With Nintendo stating that they want more Ring Fit Adventure content, um, one can only hope that a sequel will be released soon. I know myself and many other fans are eagerly awaiting the next title within the series. We're ready to battle with our Ring Cons. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Here's my sheet for this game. I have so many ideas left that I may do a sequel to this video. If you guys like this video and want to watch me complete Ring Fit Adventure, then please subscribe to my channel. I do videos on the world of self-improvement challenges, such as like, you know, losing weight with these video games, or learning new skills, or like trying new products. Uh, the goal is to turn this beautiful... The goal is to turn this bag of garbage into a beautiful, shiny bag of garbage. Don't forget to like each one of my videos for the YouTube algorithm. My voice is starting to go out. <clears throat> Lastly, have an amazing day, everyone. All you guys are just so incredibly unique. And I love you all. Looks more like a circle. Eh, like this, right? Boom. That's a heart. Russian twist. with your legs off the floor works your ass.